Welcome to HoneybeeMade.tv on a mellifera Monday. My initial plan was to uh, demonstrate how to install a nucleus colony this week. However, our nucleus colonies have been delayed a couple of weeks now, but never fear because it's always good to have a plan B. Your backyard beekeeper here on a mellifera Monday, and a beautiful one it is. It's, what, 70 degrees out, something to that effect. And where we are in the backyard today of Lenny Bolas, a friend of mine, honeybee mentor, and also the president of the Soaring Capital Beekeepers Association. So we're in the backyard of Lenny Bolas, the president of our, our Honey Beekeepers Club. And what are we gonna do today, Lenny? Well, what I need to do is pull off this medium box. Uh, when I made it last year, I was in a hurry to get a box on and it cut one down. I cut it too wide so it actually holds nine frames. So I need to take this box off and put a regular eight frame box on. So I need to take eight frames out and put in a regular box. So if the bees are willing, that's what we're gonna do today. We'll catch you on the B side. First thing we're gonna do is smoke them if you got them. All right. Notice Lenny is brave, very brave. He does not wear a veil or a suit. Me, full suit and, and veil. You think you can lift these two sets off and set right down on that, Bert? Where's the be best place to get them from, like the, my side? Yeah. Like this? Yep. Just set them across, yeah, the star or an angle. Well, well we I'm definitely goof messed them up by. So we've got a nine frame box on top of an eight frame box. We want to replace the nine frame with another eight frame. So what I'm doing is loosening up this queen excluder from all the propolis so when I pop it, or when I go to lift it up, it doesn't just snap on me. So this way I can take it off nice and gentle. I can smell the prop, uh, the honey. We're definitely backing all the bees up, being that they're used to coming in that top entrance from the winter. For some reason, the honey bees are using the top entrance and that's what Lenny means uh, by backing the bees up because they've been using the top entrance for whatever reason. Do we know why, Lenny? Just from the winter time. For, oh, from the Due winter. to the winter. They're just orientated to that top entrance. So given some time, they'll start using that bottom entrance again? Yes. So I'm gonna just start getting these, or you can, you wanna pull frames out and put in the box. Let me do that. And maybe it, the queen could be up in here laying some too, so. Okay, it was beneath the queen excluder, that's right. It'd be kinda of cool to see the queen today, maybe show our loyal viewers maybe you can move them all right over to the far side Bert. you got it sir beautiful bees they seem they appear to be a bit on the docile side do you agree lenny these have always been very gentle the other day they weren't quite so docile and the next frame we're going to pull out it's going to have a lot of capped brood on it you said tap brood? Capped brood. Capped brood. Ah, yes. My hearing ain't what it used to be or isn't what it used to be. And I don't try to smoke the bees directly. I like to let the smoke just drift over them. Sort of linger and drift. So it doesn't agitate them. And you always definitely want that cool smoke. Cool smoke. Look out, girls. So that's a nice frame of uh, capped brood. Nice. You know what? Those are shallow. Those are shallow frames, sir. Yes. They're not mediums. No, they're not. Are we going to improvise? No. So what we're going to do, folks, is because the uh, nine frame box is a shallow, a shorter frame, and uh, Lenny is not sure yet where his... Uh... I made a medium again. Is that mediums there? 
Those are shallows. So he, we're trying to locate the eight frame shallow box, which we're not sure where that is at. So we are going to um, just search for the queen and we're gonna come back to this another day. All right, what I'm gonna do is get these frames all nice and tight again. Because there's a certain bee space. If we have given too much space, Lenny, what do they do? They'll build a lot of burr comb and then in the brood nest, that can be a very um, pain in the butt trying to get all that burr comb out of there. Is that your phone? Yeah. So HopGuard, what do we know about HopGuard? HopGuard is made from um, the hops that they use to make beer. HopGuard and formic acid are the only two that are allowed to be used when you have honey supers on. And HopGuard will only kill what we call phoretic mites, or the mites that are on the bees in the hive. It's a very mild treatment and a very gooey treatment. But effective? Yes, for any of the mites crawling around on the bees. Will this get into any of the cap brood that might have mites in them? No, uh, formic acid is the only one. And it's very simple to use. They'll come in a gooey strip. You just separate them and set it over a frame in the brood nest area. Are the bees getting out of the way when you put that in there? Yes. My luck, I'd have uh, the queen bee be right on top of it. I'm gonna have to, being that my frames are nine frame box on an eight frame box, they don't quite line up as good. I can't quite get him slid down in there. Oh yeah, I see. Queen excluder gonna go back on? And we're gonna try to lay the queen excluder and flatten these strips out underneath them. So we definitely don't want to uh, make have the queen go up any further. And that stops the queen from going in up into the honey supers. And if Bert wants to lift up the other two boxes, I absolutely will, sir. We'll get them set back on. Let me get a handle on things here. Back here, White Bart. Oh, okay. How's that? Um, the front, it's gotta be slid over some. And back a little bit. And we should be pretty good. Right there, okay. Now, if Bert would like to pick up the top, we'll put the top back on and they can get back to their normal activity using the top entrance. As more, bee, as more brood hatches out, the bees will start using the bottom entrance more. And that's one simple way to treat your hive for mites right there. Um, just to try to keep the mites knocked down so they don't get a very good start in the spring going in. August is the peak of the mites. August, got it. So oh, yeah. I'll actually do a alcohol wash in another month to see how the mite load is. We definitely got to get a video of that. Mm -hmm. the girls were being good, actually. Very good. Too bad I didn't have the right box, though. Uh, I didn't. Ri and I, so it goes. All I'm gonna. Wow, that's a good eight frame. I got it, one that's unpainted. I'll just cut it down and then paint it. Oh, okay. Very cool. Yeah, I'll just cut it bottom right off it. Well, our attempt to replace the honey super from a nine frame to an eight frame wasn't quite successful today, only because we're looking for, we weren't ready. We were, we were looking for the eight frame shallow and because we have shallow frames in there. So there's always a plan B. So we came across, or there's always a plan B, and we put in a mite treatment of hop guard. And remember, everything's always better on the B side. Hey, what happened? Who turned out the lights? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh.